This video is brought to you by Envato Elements. When it comes to design, typography is a very important element in your work. So in this video, we're gonna talk about my top 10 favorite typefaces. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. So I think this is a very important video if you're a graphic designer, a motion graphic artist, a video editor, or anyone who works with titles when it comes to design. So there's two reasons why I'm making this video. One, typography has a huge pack on the overall uh, value of your work. And secondly, a lot of you guys do send me your work, which is awesome, you guys do awesome work. However, one thing that I think can be approved upon is your typography. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you my top 10 favorite typefaces for graphic design, motion graphics, or any other design work. Now, of course, all these titles are in no particular order, but to start off our list, we're gonna talk about one of my favorite typefaces, which is Gotham. Gotham is a phenomenal typeface because there's so many different fonts inside of this one family, meaning that you can easily change your font with a variety of different styles, all the way from thin, all the way to ultra. So there's a whole bunch of different ways that you can make this typeface work. Gotham is one of the cleanest typefaces you can use. It's pretty much symmetrical all the way around. And because you're able to build contrast between multiple titles, you're able to use this on so many different types of projects. And next up, one of my other types of favorite typefaces is called Beat Bass Nu'u. If you watch my channel a lot, we use Beat Bass Nu'u all the time. This is a great typeface if you want your titles to be bold, big, and right at you. Beat Bass Nu'u is great for stretching each individual letter or character up. So you're going to have more length rather than width with this title. And there's a few different styles with Beat Bass Nu'u. There's also just regular Beat Bass. There's also Beat Bass Kai. And Beat Bass Nu'u has from regular to bold typefaces. And Beat Bass Nu'u is in the Adobe Type Kit. And next up, we have one of my favorite typefaces again called Lado. And Lado is pretty much similar to Gotham. However, instead of everything being so symmetrical, it kind of curves around the edges of each letter. So that's pretty cool. It adds like a little bit more style compared to Gotham. It, so you would use Gotham when you want each of your letters to be symmetrical. And you would use Lado when you want to add a little bit of style to your typeface. And Lado is in the Adobe Type Kit. Next up on our list is Fira Sands, and this is a typeface that I recently have become introduced to and is absolutely awesome. So it kind of has the style of Gotham, everything's kind of symmetrical. However, there's a little bit more design along the edges of each character, so it's kind of like Lado in a way. However, it's kind of more of a curved design around the edges. So this typeface is great for you know web fonts or anything that needs to be clean with a little bit of a style. So you can check out Fira Sands, and Fira Sands is in the Adobe Type Kit. All right, so we have one of these very subjective typefaces called Lobster. It's a script typeface, um, which is great for anything that requires a script title, something a little bit more you know, clean, but also still connected together. Lobster is one of my favorite script typefaces. It's not in the Adobe Type Kit. You should be able to easily find it on thefont.com. Um, and this is great for a number of projects. Anytime you want something a little bit more on the creative script side, this is your go-to font at least in my opinion. And next up on our list is another typeface that I have recently been introduced to, which is called Unisans. And this is another great, you know, Gotham-like typeface with different types of fonts inside this one family. On some of the characters like the M and the N here, you can see that, you know, kind of overshoots into the letter a little bit, a little bit more spiky. Um, and the characters are definitely a little bit more blocky. So this is a really cool typeface for a variety of different types of projects. It's definitely more on the digital side in my opinion. However, it's not in the Adobe Type Kit, so you're gonna have to search it up elsewhere. And one of my favorite go-to typefaces when all else fails in the sans serifs world is Railway. I don't know what's great about Railway other than it just works in almost every situation. And it's just very clean and unique, very similar to Gotham with you know, the multiple you know fonts within the family. And on some characters, it almost has like a serif, you know, type feel to it. And then W is literally, legitimately just a double V. So, you know, it's really cool typeface. Definitely something I would check out when all else fails. And one of my favorite script typefaces is called Street Script. And what's great about Street Script, it almost looks like a custom, you know, logo design. You know, if you're going to do like hand-drawn, you know, a title of a logo, this is what that looks like. And that's really why I like Street Script. So I don't design logos. But when I want to create something a little bit more unique, this is something that I fall to with Street Script. And of course, it's not in the Adobe Type Kit, so you're going to have to search it up on like thefont.com. But this is just a great go to typeface when you want to work with script with a style. And for our first serif typeface, and of course, I rarely use serif typefaces, but when I do, I prefer Adele. 
Adele is a great typeface because it's very clean, easy to read, and it's not over the top when it comes to a serif typeface. When I think of serif typefaces, I'm always thinking like New Times Roman and the older typefaces that were used in the early 1900s, you know, not necessarily modern. So, you know, when I do use a serif typeface, I want it to look modern, but I also want it to be able to have that serif feels. And this is exactly what you get with Adele. Adele is in the uh, type kit as well, so that's great. And lastly on our list, we have Shelby. Now this is probably named after someone's girlfriend, wife, daughter, definitely named after someone, you know, by name of typeface Shelby. But this is a phenomenal script typeface, especially when you wanna have a typeface that feels personal. So that's when I use Shelby when it's like, you know, maybe I'm doing some sort of signature, you know, title. Or if I really just want something, you know, unique, Shelby is my go-to typeface. And what's great about Shelby is also in the Adobe type kit. So you can easily sync that to any of your Adobe software. And before we jump further into our video, I want to talk to you about Envato Elements. You know what I dislike as a content producer? Having to spend hundreds of dollars a month to purchase stock footage, music for my videos, After Effects templates, and graphic design templates for my business. With Envato Elements, I can save a ton of money for my business by spending only $16.50 a month where I can download unlimited music, After Effects templates, stock footage, and so much more for my business needs. If you want to learn how you can save countless time and money, be sure to check our links in the video description, which will take you over to Envato Elements. So those are my top 10 favorite typefaces. Of course, that is my opinion, and there's so many typefaces out there, but this is a good starting ground to help you get started if you are new to working with typefaces for motion graphics and graphic design. So I hope you guys enjoyed this top 10 design video. If you're new to our channel, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Sunduck Film. We post plenty of post-production and design tutorials right here on our channel. You can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the video description, and always be creative.